Hello everybody, and welcome to the Sims History Channel. I'm Professor Lilith, and I'm delighted to return finally to the Peasant Village Challenge. This was the first challenge I started on my channel, and I was on the brink of really discovering whether we could actually simulate uh, peasant life successfully when I faced a couple of challenges, and one was an apparent famine, which I was going to roll with, when none of my plants would actually become harvestable for a while. Um, and I was rolling with that, and then I discovered that part of the reason that my sims were doing okay and having enough to live on was that in the unmodded game, when you send them to eat from the grill or from the fire, which is what I was using for their cooking space, they don't get charged for the cost of the meal. So none of the financial stuff that I've done with them, none of the guesses that, we've, that I had done about whether or not they were making enough to live on as peasants, not any of that was useful as research anymore because they hadn't been having to pay for food and food was more than half the budget of your average 17th century peasant. Arg! So I have to start over. Obviously, one of the mods that I've got in here is a mod that makes them pay for everything that they get from the fire and from the grill. And that makes a big difference in the economy. I'll, on the plus side, there's a lot new of new custom content that's come out since I was doing this before. So I have much cooler stuff to put the women in. The men, not so much. There's really only a couple of peasant outfits out. But uh, the kids, there's quite a few little outfits, and so now my sims look a lot more peasanty, at least the ones on the lot. Uh, so let's quick meet our peasants. In this little red hood, we have Rose Demi. In the green hood, we have uh, Didier Pourlat. In this little uh, green sort of cap is Demand Pourlat, that's the husband of Didier. And over here on the left, we have Jean Grivel, who is the husband of uh, Rose uh, of uh, Rose Duny. There is also a child on the lot, and that child, Mike. Sorry, the game named him on its own while I had the MC command center loaded in that allows story progression uh, that you don't control. Uh, anyway, the child on the lot is Mike. He's the son of. Uh, one presumes, although I didn't get a notification on this, uh, of um, the poor lots of, um, unfortunately, although I did go through and dress all the sims in my library in period appropriate clothing, the game does generate new NPC characters, new non-player characters. Uh, so anyway, the game keeps generating new sims who are dressed in modern clothing. As they come up, if I think we're going to be spending a lot of time with them, I'll redress them and I'll put in the credits where you can get them yourself. Oh, look at that! Rose and Jean just became best friends! Now, in addition to the various gameplay mods, I've also done one major cheat, and that's that I have raised the gardening skill of all of the Sims to an 8. That makes them competent to garden without me telling them every single thing they have to do. I can just tell them to tend the garden. So in this video, we're just trying to see again if the peasants can survive following the peasant challenge rules, where none of them can get a job, and they all have to be getting their income solely from farming and some scavenging, and they're not allowed to do the digging up of rocks because that's just too profitable. They have uncomfortable beds. They have shelters with doors open to the world. They don't have modern stoves or ovens, so they have to be cooking on the grills or on the fire. They have one toilet for the whole group. They've got one shower, and that's a concession because Sims just uh, can't apparently live without a shower. They also can't go to the hospital when it's time to have a baby, and they can't use any of the modern medicines that are in the game because none of the medicines that would have been available to my 17th century peasants were effective, and they certainly didn't have money to go to a doctor. And even if they did, the doctor would be a quack. So, 
Now that we've got all the main characters, let's watch our main players. I've turned on automatic aging, and I've set the game so that events will happen in all sorts of places. And now we can just spend a little bit of time watching what's going on with our sims. And uh, you'll see that I've apparently got Rose pregnant here, which is good, I suppose. And you'll see that I've got them down to a very small amount of money. Uh, but that's okay, because they've got several... They've got quite a bit of time before their next set of um, taxes are going to come through. Now let's see this little tend garden thing in action. Oh, that's the kid. I've got the camera on Rose, but I've got the clicker. I've got the kid selected. So here we are. Rose, tend the garden. And... Well, I'm sorry, Jean. That's too bad. Uh, let's see, who else is up? Nobody. Well, I think that uh, we definitely need to be cleaning up after ourselves. And who would be doing that in the peasant era besides the ladies? Oh dear, I've got them both pregnant. And so Jean Grivel. Oh, look at that. He wants to finish a painting, and he wants to hug Rose. Well, that's too bad, because Rose is busy. And they do seem to work a lot faster once you can just tell them to tend the garden. Now, why is he so miserable? He's tired? Well, that's too bad. It's time to start back to tending the garden. You're not going to have anything to pay your taxes with, and you're not going to have any food if you don't keep your garden under control. DBA? Oh, Rose usually does that. DBA, why don't you... Why don't you tend some garden, and since Rose is usually the one to repair things, I'll have Rose come over here and fix this faucet. I know you'd like to hire a repair service, but you can't. You only have 279 simoleons. And why is Demang still asleep? It's time to get up, Demang. Come and do some garden tending. Oh, Mike will not be going to school. You see this little uh, warning here. Mike's not going to go to school because he is a peasant child. And peasant children don't need to go to school. Oh, look, he's very happy. Now, our goal with these peasants is to see how hard it is for them to live and also to try to make them more or less happy with the uh, life that they're living. What's he doing now? Little Mikey, you are... He's chatting with Didier. Is Didier ready to chat? I guess... Oh, I guess she can chat and garden at the same time. Oh. What? Demong? Demong is having a baby? He, he must... Oh, no. And Didier is in labor, too. Oh, that's great. Uh, Demong... Must have been attacked by aliens. Oh boy. It's a boy. Okay, so I need to quick get my handy dandy uh, name finder. Let's see, where did I put that sucker? There it is. So let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, apparently I can use Richard. Ricard. All right. Richard. So that's good. Demang can be a father now. And uh, is DDA going into labor too? Apparently. That is... Come on, you could unpause. You could unpause at any moment. <sighs> oh, there you go. We have the little baby born. And DDA is... Yeah, she's not ready to go into labor yet. But Rose... Okay, so we have a new baby. All right. That's pretty cool. Look at that. That is wonderful, Demong. Of course, because you're a man, you're not going to be able to feed your baby. Let's just enjoy. Nope. Oh, drat. Uh, that's right, I've got the go to school mod in here. I'll have to take that out the next time I play. Uh, little Mike will go to school alone. And then we're going to stop him going from grade school. Yes, you're, you're skipping grade school because you are a peasant child. You are not going to be grading. 
We'll send you out fishing later on. Uh, let's see, Rose, what are you doing? Is there a garden that needs tending? Tend a garden? That's right. That's right. There is some garden that needs to be handed. Oh, look at that. DDA is playing with the baby. Can she actually... Yes, she can bottle feed the baby. Good, because Damon can't, being a man and all. Um, so what I'm going to be doing with the these uh, alien pregnancies is uh, I'm going to treat them as uh, <clears throat> the result of uh, assaults by passing soldiers. So I suppose people are not going to, you know, I'm not going to be able to recreate the emotional impact of that. But I think that's how we're going to treat it. Where every time we see an alien, we're going to treat them as German. Rose. Now, do you have any food? No. You have a whole bunch of little Easter eggs, but no food. And you have an upgrade part that you can't use. So, ooh. Far, you can evolve. And evolve. And evolve your trees. Oh. Is there something in the way? I don't think there is. Let's just see if I have to move these plants a little bit. Come on, little plants. So, Rose, come on. Evolve. Evolve. Evo what? What is your problem? What? What? You can't... Oh. Okay, well, then it's time to harvest. <laughs> And DDA. Well, DDA is asleep. She has a brand new baby, and she's a, and she is asleep, paying no attention. But she's planning to light a fire. I suppose that's good. Now, Jean. Is, okay, so Jean is going to bed, and we're going to send Mike for a lot since he can't can he interact with the baby at all. Okay, so he can coo at the baby and talk to the baby, but nothing useful. And we're going to send him fishing because that's something he can do for the general good of the family. Come on, little fishy guy, little fisher. Oh, what? Rose has gone into labor too? That, okay, well, where's the fishing hole? I know there's a fishing hole near here. There it is. There he is. Go. Go fishing. And Rose is in labor? Where is she? Oh, well, <laughs> she is not acting like she's in labor, is she? She's acting like she's just having a marshmallow. Did she get anything harvested? Oh, good. Good. Um, so she's hungry. Well, that's good. She, we, let's sell all this and see how much money it generates. 270 simoleons. Hundred, yes, Julia, Kara was unemployed because she's a peasant, like everybody else in the game. Uh, let's see, the carrots. They produce a nice little bit of change. That's good. That's good. It's not as much money as really we need probably to support ourselves. But it's something. Now, Demong. Yeah, like, DDA is really going to be wanting to, to uh, woohoo right now. Oh, this should be good, because Demong seems to get himself caught on fire, like, every time he goes to use uh, this little area. Every time he uses the bonfire, practically, he gets... Oh! Okay, well, you, we don't have time for you to be a loner, Demong. If that's what you're going to do, then you, too, need to go fishing. Because your family hardly has any cash. Come on, fish with bait. Yes, we got an angelfish there. Yeah, you're not going to sleep. You slept late already. All right, so Mike caught a tiny bit of food. That's great. Oh, DDA is, DDA is having a baby? Oh, great. Well, I guess I'd choose a lot to be tired then. Look at that. Look at that. I wonder how the game figured out that they were not going to get to go to the doctors. Oh, of course. Yes. That's right, Demon. You're doing pretty well at the, at the fishing. Okay, so DDA had her baby. What are we gonna call the baby here? Claudon. Apparently, Claudon is a girl's name. I'm not sure that that's pronouncing it correct, but there we go. So DDA, you're going to have another cute little baby. Time to go. Time to pay attention. Come on, unpause. There we go. Look at it. Look at that. So cute. So cute. So adorable. 
Oh, I think you should take a moment to to coo with your baby. Oh, so Mike is getting oh, he's getting good grades or something? Come on. I don't know why it is, but for some reason I can't go over and see what he's doing. PDA has a baby, yes, yes. You should take care of the baby, yes. And oh, Rose wants to bounce the baby, but she's too tired. And that's interesting because Rose actually has the uh, hates children trait. Let's see, did Mike catch anything useful? Why, yes, we've got a $5 guppy. And a $5 goldfish. I'm sorry, Simoleon. Now, I realized a little bit later on as I was filming this that it would be better to make the Sims who are selling fish or selling anything actually physically travel to the marketplace because that's what real peasants would have to do. And in the next video, I'll institute that practice. You don't have a baby yet, but you will soon. Yes, Mike, you're done fishing. And they're having a nice little conversation there while they eat. That's sweet. The three grown-ups. Little Richard is asleep. Little Cloud On is asleep. No, he's awake and spending and having a good time. Hmm, what does this mean? This uh, little line here about being... Is that her age? Hmm. Let's see. My little artistic prodigy. Sorry, guys, you can't have an artistic table. That's the sort of thing that we just don't have time for with our little baby sims. You know, maybe if your family makes some good money and can keep up, then you can do that. Oh, look, they managed to bring up their household funds to almost 900 sim. Sim will that. They might be able to pay their taxes and have some extra food. Oh, are they out of... No, they're not out of food. You'll get some. Grab a serving. Oh, he is eating. Never mind. Up, 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 up. Towny fashion alert. Dressed in non-period clothes. Bad towny. Aw, oh, Rose feels uncomfortable and worn out. That's probably because you're nine and a half months pregnant and you're washing dishes and working in a garden. Well, listen, little Mike, you can go to the bathroom once you've done that. We're not going to force you to make all of your own decisions for yourself. Let's see. DDA asleep again. See, DDA has the, uh, the lazy trait, and I'm wondering if that's going to let her be a good parent or if she's just going to be kind of useless. Oh, good. You keep... Oh, good. Good, Demond. You just keep fishing. Oh, Cloud on. Cloud on is miserable. Aw. Oh. Of course, Cloud on is still miserable. What's she doing? She's changing its diaper. Okay. That had no impact. Oh, uh, no, no. You're going to have to breastfeed. Oh, you can't. You can't breastfeed. That's not your baby. And you can't bottle feed them because, again, it's not your baby. You're going to have to bottle, you're going to have to breastfeed only your own children. So DDA, you come down here, and you feed, you breastfeed your own baby. Okay, Rose, doing well. Babies are both feeling good, that's good. Now, hmm, DDA wants to woo-woo with, with Demong. I think that's one of the things Demong wants to do. Well, we'll hold on to, we'll, we'll pin that. We'll keep that on his list of things he wants to do so that he can do them. Little, little Mike, what was he doing? Yes, you're going to have to doing, start doing some cleaning, Mike. You're going to have to start cleaning stuff up. Do I not have... Yes, there's a, there's a garbage thing there for you. You're in excellent shape. Oh, my little Ricard. Ricard is probably hungry. So, Demong, you probably should feed... And change diaper. Since it's your baby, you're going to have to be the one who takes care of it. You know, it's odd. The women should be doing this. It's, uh, I'm not really quite sure what to do with alien pregnancies, but I couldn't bear to get rid of a baby. It was so adorable. I mean, each of these babies is so cute. Now, there, see, you know, I love the modest covering here on Demong because we have to pretend that we should see him without his, you know, while he was breastfeeding. Because it's not as if we don't have our male shirts, Sims wandering around with their shirts off all the time. Okay, look at that. Little Richard is fine. Yes. That's right, Demong. So now you can go get some food. I'm sure this food is okay, right? Sure. Grab a serving. And who's awake? Mike? Yes. Mike, you need to be... Hmm. What can Mike do to add to the household economy? Can he clean? Hmm. We can't plant. We can't harvest. Can he clean this? Nope. 
Uh, let's see, what else can he do? He's just gonna have to go down and continue fishing. We have in fact I think that I'll have him and Demon go fishing together as soon as Yeah, I'll have him and go and Demon go fishing together. Rose can take care of her own baby while Demong Oh Demong's too tired. Well then. Little Mike will have to go on his own to go fishing. Which I think he can do. I have to use the phone for him to travel, but Oh, I've been safe here, so I this seems like an excellent place to stop until the next video, when we'll see Rose's baby being born and we'll watch the kids go fishing. We did learn a couple of useful things for reconstructing 17th century life from this particular short exercise. First of all, it is super helpful to cheat the gardening skill up to level 8. You can run the game a lot easier and watch the sims at the same time, and I think that's a realistic expectation of peasants. Two, to make the simulation more realistic, we should make sure that the Sims actually have to travel to garden. And three, ugh, we've got to ignore the towny fashions. I'll try to fix them when I can, but in-game, there's just going to be a few problems. I'll see you later. Come back for the next game.